everybody, day 13 of Commit is all about strength, focus on smooth and powerful transitions, stability in our holds, and a strong breath throughout. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around to the end of the video where we break down a pose from today's practice. Begin standing at the head of your mat in Mountain Pose. We are starting right away with three sun salutations. Inhale, Upward Salute. Exhale, Forward Fold. Inhale, Half Lift. Exhale, Fold. Plant the palms, step or hop back to Plank, flow through Chaturanga or Lower, Up Dog or Cobra. Downward Facing Dog. Step or hop to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more times. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, fold. To a half lift. And fold. To plank. Flow through. Downward facing dog. Step or hop to a forward fold. Half lift. And fold. Upward salute. Hands to heart. One more time. Upward salute. Forward fold. Halfway lift. And fold. To plank. Flow through. To down dog. Step or hop to forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold, upward salute, hands to heart. Next, let's lower the hips and raise the arms in chair pose. To standing, keeping the arms up, float the right foot back to Warrior 3. Hold Warrior 3 or draw elbows to knee five times. Four. Three. Two. And one. Step the right foot back to a high crescent lunge, raising the back heel, both legs straight as we reach up high. We're going into pulse lunges with cactus arms as we lower five times. Four. Three. Two. And one. Open up to warrior two. Reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg to triangle.
bend the front knee, lower the hands to a runner's lunge. Keeping the body as is and moving only from the shoulders, raise the arms. Lower the hands and step it back to plank pose. Keep the left hand down, twist to side plank opening to the right side. Needle the arm under the body in side plank twists five times, four, three, two, and one. Return to plank, tucking your arms in firmly at your sides, lower all the way down to your belly with control. Then place your arms at your sides, palms facing up. Big inhale, on an exhale, lift the chest and legs to locust pose. Let's do that four more times. Inhale lower, plant the palms beneath the shoulders and press up to plank. Lower to your belly. Big inhale, exhale to locust pose. Three more times. Lower, plant the palms, press to plank. Lower down, lift to locust. Two more times. Hands down, press to plank. Lower as controlled as you can, to locust, last one, release, press to plank, lower down, big inhale, exhale to locust, and release, pressing back to child's pose for a rest. Coming through table now to downward facing dog, step or hop to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart. To the other side now. Lower the hips and raise the arms in chair pose. To standing, keeping the arms up, float the left foot back to warrior three. Hold warrior three or draw elbows to knee five times. Four, three, two, and one. Step the left foot back to a high crescent lunge, raising the back heel, both legs straight as we reach up high. We're going into pulse lunges with cactus arms as we lower five times. Four. Three. Two. And one.
open up to Warrior Two. Reverse Warrior. Straighten the front leg to triangle. Bend the front knee, lower the hands to a runner's lunge. Keeping the body as is and moving only from the shoulders, raise the arms. Lower the hands and step it back to plank pose. Keep the right hand down, twist to side plank opening to the left side. Needle the left arm under the body and side plank twists five times. Four. Three. Two. And one. Return to plank. Tucking your arms in firmly at your sides, lower all the way down to your belly with control. Then press up to Cobra Pose. We're going to be moving through Cobra Rolls five times. Press back to Child's Pose, forearms down, parallel to each other. Follow your nose coming forward, flowing back up to Cobra. Four more times. Try to keep your nose as close to the mat for as long as possible. Press up to Cobra and back. Three more, coming forward, strong shoulders as we press up, back to child's pose. Two more times to cobra, and back. Last one, moving forward to cobra, and back to child's pose. Take a short rest here. Able to downward facing dog. To dolphin press ups five times. Stay strong through the shoulders as we lower one arm at a time or both arms together to dolphin. And back to down dog. Four more times. Three. Two. Last one. Next you have the option to lower to a child's pose if you need the rest, otherwise we are going into dolphin knee pose. Return to dolphin pose. Draw your right knee towards your right tricep as close as you can get it and return. Left side. We're doing that four more times on each side. Three more.
two. And last set. Lower the knees and take a rest in child's pose. Move through table to downward facing dog. To spider lunges five times on each side. Step your right foot to the outside of the right hand, lowering the hips, then back to down dog. Other side, left foot to the outside of the left hand and back. Four more times. Three. Two, and one. Next, again stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand, but this time we're raising the arms and body to crescent lunge and lowering the hands back down to the inside of the front foot. Step it back to down dog, left side. Step to the outside of the hand, raise to crescent lunge, Lower the hands to the inside of the front foot, step back to down dog. Let's do that two more times on each side. Right foot up, crescent lunge, we've got this. Lower the hands, step it back, left side, step through, crescent lunge. Lower the hands, step it back. One more time on each side. Right side, step through, crescent lunge. Lower the hands, step it back. Left side, step through, crescent lunge. Lower the hands and step it back to down dog. Walk or hop the feet up to the hands and lower the hips to seated, knees bent. Sit up tall and raise the heels to a half boat if you can, just floating the feet above the mat or keeping the toes down for support. Hands together in Kali Mudra, twist and point to the right, then to the left. Four more times each side. Three more, two, and one. Lower the feet and recline onto your back, arms down at your sides. Feet hip width apart. Raise the hips to a bridge pose and hold. Option to go deeper by bringing the shoulder blades together and clasping the hands beneath you. Release the hands if clasped and lower all the way down. Draw the knees in for a rest, rocking a little from side to side. Let's extend the legs down onto the mat, arms at our sides, palms facing up. Take 
taking up space in Savasana. Allow the body to melt into the mat as you deepen your breath and appreciate all the hard work you did today. Reach the arms overhead to a morning stretch, flexing the whole body before slowly making your way to seated. Dolphin pose is a great pose for strengthening the legs and the shoulders. It requires a lot of focus. It looks a little bit like downward facing dog, but it's much more challenging. So let's talk first about our arm position in dolphin pose. Ideally, you want your forearms to be parallel to each other, shoulder width apart, palms flat, fingers spread wide. We're gonna aim to bring our shoulders above our elbows in dolphin pose, but that's something that can take a while. If you find it difficult to hold dolphin pose, maybe you're not quite strong enough in the shoulders yet and that's where you're finding the difficulty, you can clasp the hands to modify that we are gonna to work towards bringing those arms parallel to each other. So, with our arm position here, we're gonna get strong through the core. We're gonna press through the toes and lift the hips up high. Once we're up here, we wanna keep reaching long through the hips. So I'm gonna get long through the back, wide through the chest and shoulders. Really, really strong in the shoulders here. Sending those hips up high, I'm simultaneously going to ground down through the heels and allow my head to just hang down. It's okay if your heels don't touch down in dolphin pose quite yet or ever. That's something that's super, super common. What we want to focus on is again just elevating the hips and grounding through the heels. Tuck that navel in, engage the core, strong shoulders, press through the hands as well, wide through the back wide through the chest, long through the spine as we gaze back. Good. And that's it. That's all it is. And you can tell that that's all it needs to be because it's challenging enough on its own. So to modify dolphin pose, there are a few things that you can do to make it a little bit easier. You can elevate your heels and disregard focusing on grounding them at all. Another thing you can do if you find it heavy in the shoulders, aside from clasping the hands ahead of you, is keeping those feet a little bit further back and not quite worrying yet about stacking the shoulders above the elbows. So if we're back here, we're taking a lot of pressure off of the body, so it's a little bit easier. And over time, we can work towards walking our heels up. And you'll notice that I'm keeping my heels elevated here. And that makes it a little bit easier. And then over time, we work towards grounding those as well. Another way to modify would be to place your heels on blocks. So same idea. We have our blocks positioned at the back of our mat. And as we go into our dolphin pose, we rest our heels on the blocks. This way we can still ground them down while reaching our hips up high. And that gives us one less thing to worry about so we can focus on the rest of the body. Now if we're talking about dolphin push-ups or press-ups like we did in today's practice, that brings on a whole new set of challenges. So one way to modify those, if we're not able to press through both arms at the same time, 
is to do one at a time, but alternating sides so that we're getting an even workout across both arms, both shoulders. So from your dolphin position, and here, if you're finding these a step especially difficult, you can walk the feet back a little bit to take off some of the pressure from the body. So from your dolphin position, your hands are spread wide, 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 press through the fingertips, and raise both elbows at the same time. Now to come back down, same thing, you're gonna go nice and slow with as much control as possible without crashing down. So again, to modify, press up right, then left, lower right, then left. Other side, left, then right, left, then right. So keep working at that and keep trying to do both at the same time and eventually you'll get it.